Like you. Welcome to the production control room here at GU TV, where we have a special live audience with us, our family and friends who have gathered here for our fall family weekend show. I'm Dana Marie McNichol Carter, the executive producer of this fall family weekend show, and I'm so excited to bring our parents into the world of broadcast journalism. And what better way to do that is to have them jump into the roles that we perform every single day. So we have a parent helping out on audio over here, on prompter, it's a very important job, technical director director later on in the show Frank Carl is very excited to have his weather debut and then my very own mother is going to be co-anchoring the show so I'm very very excited for everything that we have planned for you today Corey roll the open Good afternoon and welcome to this special edition of GUTV Fall Family Weekend. I'm Connor Sarles. And I'm Ann McNichol. She's here all the way from San Diego to co-anchor the show with me today. So how are you feeling behind the anchor desk right Extremely now? Extremely nervous. I did not <laughs> volunteer for this. This was supposed to be Dana Marie's grandfather's job. But I'm giving it a shot, so bear with me, Connor. Okay. Well, this show is a unique opportunity to showcase the evolution of a broadcast and electronic media major here at Gonzaga. Each and every student has a unique journey through this program, but they will all graduate with the same Jesuit education and foundational skills to be a successful media professional. GTV senior Daniel and Serpy set out to share exactly what that looks like. This is the goal for broadcasting students at Gonzaga. It's the long list of GUTV alumni who are in action. The pins on the map signify where they are currently working, and we have alums scattered all across the country. Our alums are proof that this program works. However, before current students can add their own pin and their name to the list, they have some work to do. Hello, and welcome to GUTV. The moment hey. students begin their broadcasting path, they hit the ground running. The fundamentals of television production class throw students into the environment of live television for their very first time. Students take on the many challenges of TV, including directing and on-camera talent. While it can be overwhelming at first, it's an experience that students enjoy. It's been a little challenging at first because there's definitely instances where we're tested right in the moment and we need to make fast decisions. And For students who are beginning to get their feet wet, many challenges lie ahead. After completing the live interview, students will now look ahead to a live game show at the end of the semester. All right, we're here. The next step in the broadcast journey is intermediate television production. This course introduces the world of videography and nonlinear editing. I think the best part of the 303 class was the ability to take more of a creative direction with our projects, and so we weren't focusing on newscasts and we weren't focusing on packages for those. We were rather focusing on doing things like making music videos and sequencing things and learning professional editing systems. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am really looking forward to talking to you guys about mental health and the way that it impacts us all. It's my pleasure. After 203 and 303, it comes time for students to put what they have learned into action in order to create a clear expression during live television. Upperclassmen in the advanced class are tasked with putting on half-hour specials for GUTV. GUTV, especially during the fall, all of our shows are really tied to asking a question, posing a question, and being able to start a conversation about something. Through spending so much of our time together producing our shows, GUTV has become a big family. And I think that's great about this class, is we have support and we have a real team. These three courses, plus the required electives, are the path to a broadcasting degree. However, before graduation, GUTV students take part in the tradition of signing the cable tray. The professionals who at one time called the GUTV studio home have signed their name along with an inspirational message. This ceremony held days before graduation truly marks the end of the broadcasting journey. In a short seven months, it will be our class's turn to sign the cable tray and join the list of GUTV alumni. 
But until then, it's about cherishing the moments with the people and the program that we've come to love. Daniel and Serpy, GUTV. As parents, I'm sure you're very curious about how you're spending your valuable tuition dollars. Lucky for you, we are here to expand on our curriculum. Along with live studio courses, we have a variety of classes in order to prepare each student for the nuts and bolts of the industry. Audio production focuses on the technical aspects of audio recording, editing, and producing. You can even tune into Gonzaga's own radio station, KAGU, for some classical music. The broadcast journalism course is a unique opportunity for us to Skype in professionals from the industry to learn about what to expect post-graduation. The valuable insight helps students understand the various roles in a newsroom and how they can apply their own skills learned at GUTV. Senior broadcast majors will leave GUTV with a very important course under their belts, TV and social justice. By then, digital storytelling will be a second nature for these students. The course pushes the student to think with a moral compass and stresses the importance of ethical decision making. A group of students will create a documentary and they will shed light on a subject that they think should be addressed in order to improve our local Spokane community. All of this equa equates to an important Gonzaga degree and it sets for a stage for a bunch of graduates to go out and change the world. The most dynamic aspect of the GUTV program is of course the stories we tell. Why do we choose them? Who's our audience? What message are we trying to convey? There are no bad stories, just bad storytellers. And here at GUTV, we aim to be more effective ones, creating digital narratives. In fact, GUTV has been nominated for 12 student Emmys, and GUTV's Alyssa Crawford won the award in 2012. Beyond that, four other alumni have won awards. We aren't doing this for the praise, but it is certainly noteworthy that we have received recognition from institutions like the Northwest Regional College Student Awards. Our most recent nominations came from two shows last year on sexual assault and mental health. The thing is, every show we produce takes our Jesuit values to heart. Walking around campus, you practically get bombarded with terms like cura personalis and magis and ad maiorum dei gloriam. I'll put it in simpler terms for you. Jesuits care about education for the whole person, faith, justice, global interconnectedness, and human dignity. So we really have our work cut out for us. Luckily, all of us here are committed to carrying out such a tall order, and our number one goal is to educate our audience on what they really ought to know. Here's a GUTV fun fact. We actually have six Emmy Award winners who came from GUTV. That's amazing. GUTV has so many talented students. Uh, I have a question as a parent. How employable are our students upon graduation in the news industry? Well, um, immediately. The GUTV <laughs> has actually prepared many broadcasting students for jobs in the television industry all over the United States. When you graduate, you are considered a multimedia journalist and expected to be comfortable with all aspects of broadcast production. Our education makes us versatile for a variety of positions. Robert Perry caught up with a local GUTV alum to find out his experience as a news producer. GUTV has a long history of alumni who have landed jobs in the broadcast industry. So how have the skills they learned at GUTV translated into jobs at TV stations? I think it really taught me uh, how to deal with a professional environment. Adam Arak began his career here at CREM after he graduated from Gonzaga in 2015. He said his experience at GU helped prepare him for the professional broadcasting world. Doing all those GU TV shows really helped me do that because uh, we had significantly less equipment, we had significantly less uh, program. It prepared me to handle all this stuff, but with all the new technologies and stuff, it made it way easier uh, to do like a daily newscast. I can go anywhere he wants to go and do anything he wants to do. Noah Cooper, the executive news director for Krem, believes Adam's versatility can land him a job anywhere he wants to go. He can do everything. He can shoot. If he wanted to be on air, he could be on the air. He could do anything he wants to do. While he is not sure where he wants to go next, Adam is keeping his options open. I think it would be really interesting to get out of the U.S. and kind of take on a completely different, I don't know, probably world too. We kind of have a nice life here, but they have all sorts of issues there that uh, I think journalism is really powerful there, so it'd be nice to be, it would be nice to go work over there. Wherever he goes, Adam will not forget his Gonzaga roots. He is always willing to offer career advice to current GU students. I know what that's like when you're just almost at the end of your senior year and you're just like, what am I going to do with my life? So I would say just get your name out there and just don't let uh, 
don't let anything like hold you back from just going for it. Robert Perry, GUTV. What a unique opportunity to see how a recent GUTV alum is doing. The very strong alumni family here is always willing to give back. Um, I've witnessed this personally with my two children. They, well, let's see here. <laughs> Whether it's giving advice on how to be a dynamic storyteller or helping students on their first job, GUTV alumni are excellent resources to help ensure success after graduation. Kana, where do you see yourself after graduation? Well, I'm hoping to live the rest of my life in my mom's basement. <laughs> uh, earlier yeah. this week, we asked the families of GUTV students, past and present, to share some of their favorite Gonzaga memories via social media. Let's toss it over to Daniel and Serpy and his father in the tweet suite for our one-time only segment that I like to call Dan and Dad. Thank you, Connor. <laughs> welcome into the Opila Tweet Suite. And a big welcome to my father, Dr. Mark and Serpy, all the way up from Northridge, California, joining me for his live television debut. Dad, how are you feeling right now? You know, I'm feeling great, but I got to tell you, it's a bit ironic being in this thing called the Tweet Suite since I've never tweeted anything in my life, but I'd much rather be here than anywhere else right now. Well, that's so great. I'm so glad you are really credible to be in the Tweet Suite, I guess. So uh, here we go. Let's see what we got. So this is actually right outside of this room. It's our GUTV Fall Family Photo Booth designed by Corinne Cahill. There's Corinne and Sarah, two of our current GUTV Zags in the picture. Dad, this looks like a pretty good backdrop for a selfie out of this. What do you think? I think we should definitely do it, Daniel. I think it'd be great. <laughs> that will definitely happen. Now, another one coming in from Spencer Martin. Spencer is a junior broadcasting student. He is super excited his family's here, as we all are. You get to hang with the family. You actually get to have a nice meal or two. Really a great time. Dad, what, what is your favorite part about Family Weekend? You know, Family Weekend is fantastic. It's just a neat time to see the community just liven up and be very vibrant. It's wonderful. It is great. I'm so happy that everyone is here. And this one is from an alum, Tessa Laverne. Tessa is a GUTV graduate. She is a producer in Seattle. And two nice pictures here, one rocking the Gonzaga gear, the other with that ever so important degree. Dad, that's me in seven months. Daniel, I can't believe how quickly the time has flown. It's amazing, but I just know you're going to be incredibly well prepared when you leave the Gonzaga community. It's crazy. This program is great. And now, last one. This is a fun <laughs> one. This was taken last year, Fall Family Weekend. Craziness in the kennel. Dad, who's in this picture here? I see you, I see me, and I see your daughter, Sarah, who decided to go to Syracuse. My sister Sarah went to Syracuse. So that was last year, Craziest in the Kennel. But Craziest in the Kennel is also going on today. It's at 4 o'clock. Go check out our fellow GUTV Zags, Lil, Ryan Edwards out there. It's the kickoff of the basketball season. And you know what? That's all we got here from Opila. But this show is absolutely loaded. You will not want to go away. Coming up after the break, we will meet two exemplary seniors and two really important roles for the show. It's our director, Corey Erickson, and our producer, Corinne Cahill. Also, a weather report coming in from Frank Carl, one of the most animated people I think I've ever been around. <laughs> so you will not want to miss this. Dad, what are we watching? We're watching the fall family weekend show on GUTV. TV. <laughs> 